Hi, uh, so this is the second vid for the first lesson of the trig functions, and we're dealing with like secant, cosecant, cot. Right, so let's have a look at this. So I've got sine, so that's okay, that can just be sine theta. So we'll simplify it. Cot is 1 over tan, so it's cos over sine. Secant is 1 over cos. So I want to see what cancels out. And the sine theta cancels with the sine theta. And the cos theta cancels with the cos theta. And I just get one. <laughs> Do you fancy having to go at this one? You'll have to join it as a single fraction. Let's have a look at example two. So it says, uh, so if A is an acute angle, so it says secant A is 4, find the exact values. So we've got acute angle, you've got exact values, the wording of that is screaming. Or a triangle. Now, if I know that secant a is 4, I know secant is 1 over cos. So I'm just switching, I've got a quarter for cos a. So that's what I want to do first to get my triangle. So for cos, the adjacent is 1, the hypotenuse is 4. So that's going to be, what's it going to be? So it's going to be 4 squared take 1 squared, which is 15, so I'll root 15. There we go. So then it says to power a, I want cosecant a. So cosecant a is 1 over sine a. And we know that sine a will be the opposite, which is root 15, over 4. I'm dividing, so I'm going to flip it. So I've got 4 over root 15, which serves out is that. So that's part A. Part B is cot. So I know that's 1 over tan A. So cot is the opposite over adjacent. So that's 1 over root 15 over 1. Oh, there you go, just 1 over root 15. Concern it out as root 15 over 15. There. So there's one there for you. Can you follow that one through, please? I'll reveal this one, but please just follow it through and have a go. Okay. So we've got another example here. Uh, so then it says, given that tan is minus 5 over 12 and a is obtuse, oof, find the value, the exact values for secant and um, sine. So I know secant is 1 over cos, don't I? So if I think about my triangle, I'm going to ignore the minus. So opposite is 5. Adjacent is 12. That's a 5, 12, 13 triangle, isn't it? Right, so I know my secant A is 1 over cos A. So cos A is 12 over 13. So that's going to be 13 over 12. Now I know A is obtuse. On the cos graph, for between 90 and 180, it's negative. So I just need to make sure I put a minus sign in front of it and I've got my answer there. Um, sine, well sine is just opposite, which is 5 over 13. So 
but we know that that is, when it's obtuse, it's still positive. Good luck from the graph. So from 90 to 180, it's positive. Oops. So that just stays as 5 over 30. That's there to see if you'll just trip up and put a minus in front of it to actually appreciate what's going on. Right, shed loads of questions for us to do in class. We just jumped on that one. Loads and loads of practice questions here. These are awesome because it's just algebra. Who doesn't love a bit of algebra? Right, I'm done now. That's first lesson done. See you later. Bye bye.